The MX solid bearing carrier will provide for maximum life when properly adjusted. The carrier design contains both tension and lock screws. The tension screws control the amount of pressure placed on the carrier bearings. The lock screws lock the tension screws in place and provide fine adjustment of the carrier bearings. The number of tension and lock screws will vary depending on the bore size of the actuator. The following procedures will explain how to adjust a carrier that has become loose after extended cycling and how to replace bearings that have become worn. The carrier may become loose after extended cycling as friction will cause the bearings eventually to wear. Fully loosen all tension and lock screws about one half a turn so they are not engaged with the bearing. Tighten the tension screws on both sides of the carrier roughly one eighth to one quarter turn clockwise past where the screw starts to feel snug. The carrier should be very difficult or impossible to move by hand. Next, adjust the lock screws on both sides of the carrier roughly one eighth to one quarter turn clockwise past where the screw starts to engage. Ideal carrier tension is achieved when the carrier feels snug in relation to the tube, yet can be moved by hand. No rocking motion should be present. The carrier should also be loose enough to be moved by hand over the entire length of the actuator. If, after this process, the carrier has become too loose, equally adjust all of the lock screws with a slight 1 32nd turn counterclockwise. A carrier that is adjusted too tight will increase the breakaway pressure required for motion and in extreme cases no motion will occur when air is applied. Depending on the duty cycle of the application, over time this process may need to be repeated. Keeping the carrier in a properly adjusted tension will prolong the life of the MX bearing system and the actuator itself. If, after years of application cycles and bearing adjustment, you have excessive bearing wear, you should replace the bearings. The bearing kit includes two bearings and four end caps. Loosen all tension and lock screws about one half turn so they are not engaged with the bearing. Remove the four end cap screws from the bearings at each end of the carrier. Slide out the bearings and discard. Slide a new bearing in each side of the carrier. Trapezoidal side facing the tube extrusion. Due to tube tolerances, it is possible the second bearing will be more difficult to slide in. If that is the case, turn the lock screws on both sides of the carrier one eighth to one quarter turn clockwise past where the screws start to feel snug. Position both bearings so they are flush with each end of the carrier. Place the bearing end caps at each end of the bearings, smooth side facing out. And replace the four end cap screws into the bearing ends. Do not over tighten the screws or the bearing cap will crack. Adjust the carrier by following the steps in Adjusting Carrier Bearing Instructions.